All right, so it's time for another community response video from the Facebookers at facebook.com slash geekdom101. The question I'm going to pose to everybody in the community that I have posed, and of course, remember to leave your comments down below, is who, in your opinion, is the real MVP of the Tournament of Power? Not including Goku and Jiren. Your choices that I have here are Android 17 and Vegeta. Both of these guys had outstanding performances and I asked the Facebookers why you chose who you chose. First come, first serve will be here on this video. So who do you think deserves to get like the MVP award? Not just for the most eliminations, just overall performance. Who do you think had more of an impact on the TOP? Now, first person here, Enrique writes Roshi. Enrique did not read the instructions. I said choose from these choices. You are disqualified. DeAndre McDowell wrote 17, Alan Sandoval, Vegeta, Juan Gonzalez, 17. I want some explanations though, guys. Don't just tell me. I want some real explanations here. Chris Painanen, if I screwed up your name, I'm sorry. Number 17 because he gave the most assists. That is true. He was the John Stockton of this damn tournament, dude. He was Steve Nash. If you're an NBA fan, you know what I'm talking about. And also eliminated a lot of other combatants. Heads up, it's pronounced Paul Nanin. See, he knew! He knew I was going to screw it up! He knew! And he even taught me how to pronounce it. Sorry, but I read this part before I read this part. So, um, Paul Nanin. Yes, uh, that's how you pronounce his name. And he says 17. Christopher Rodriguez, Vegeta. He had the most eliminations for basically the first half of the tournament. Yeah, he really did shine in that first half. Uh, he gave no fucks and just went in like the savage he is. Well, um, he did do good. I feel like he could have gotten more eliminations, though. I feel like he could have. Maybe he was goofing off too much with um, Topo the first time they fought. Not the second time, the first time. But he definitely did an outstanding job, and that's why he's here. Um, all right, I want, I'm, I'm going to just look at the actual like explanations, not just the people who picked one person. Thanks for the picture there. Tyler Dion says, probably Vegeta. He was the one who surpassed his limits and took out a candidate for God Destruction. That is correct. He beat Topo. 17 was good, but Vegeta seemed to go off on his own and body more people. I should also know Vegeta is my favorite character. Well, you just ruined your own argument there, Tyler. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Vegeta is very popular. That being said, um, you know, that's why we did this. Because I really feel like it's one of those two guys. For Universe 7, of course. Ryan Rydenor, Android 17, I honestly didn't expect much from him, but he put in as much effort as Vegeta did, and he went out with a bang, literally, yes, that is correct, he did put in a lot of effort, much more assists, he was definitely involved in various fights, he was there when they were fighting against Ribrian and them, he was there against Universe 11, he was there with 18 for a lot of it, he really did work hard, that's why he's listed here. Ethan Hensley writes, uh, Vegeta or 17. 17 and Vegeta have both saved Goku many times, and without them, Goku would have already lost a toss-up, really. Yeah, I mean, that was the whole point. Is That's why I, it's, hard, it's a hard question for me to answer, hence that's why I'm asking the community. Contrary to popular belief, I'm actually not a know-it-all. Believe it or not, I'm just a researcher. Um, and I, and I, I like to ask people for their opinions, and that's why I do these community response videos because a lot of good people out there, very smart people in this fandom, um, lots of 17 votes here. Um, Jacob Tyler Hopkins says that Vegeta that feats, Vegeta the feats that he showed defeating a God Destruction Topo who obliterated Golden Frieza. Yeah, I mean, that is true. Topo pretty much like massacred Frieza, and Vegeta just went in there, and even though he had to use a life risking move, he did it. He got the W, and that will always be impressive. So, lots of 17s. Now, Tom Cooper here says easily 17. Easy. I mean easy. No, that's not easy, bro, because they both did a lot. Don't forget that Vegeta also gave Goku some energy to tap into Ultra Instinct again in the last episode. So, um, it's not easy. If it was easy, I wouldn't have made this video, dude. Like, I'm making this video to get the responses. Plus, people are saying Vegeta, too. So, But there's lots of 17 votes. I'm seeing a lot of 17s. And uh, Samet... Ozilmaz. Shout out to all my international um, subscribers. I'm very happy that Geekdom 101 is a very cultured channel. We don't just have American fans here. We have people from all over the world in every continent. I've seen my analytics. Literally every continent. Antarctica. There are people in Antarctica watching this. Shout out to Antarctica. Not many, but they're there. Um, maybe they're penguins. Who knows? But that being said... 
Are there even penguins in Antarctica? Or is it the Arctic? I don't know. I don't know anything about ge geography or geometry or geography, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> um, Samet says that 17 gave the most assists. And I like the fact that people are, are actually pointing this out. He was involved in many of the scuffles in this tournament. I'm happy people are pointing that out. And uh, Satyaki Da says 17 is the sacrifices. And then, you know, Kenny Buller says the same thing. Um... Uh, Tom Smooth Sailing, that can't be your last name. Come on, bro. Uh, that's that's pretty funny. I'm not going to lie. Um, Vegeta, he picks Vegeta. Now, Justin Medley says, and I've seen this man comment many times before, hands down Vegeta. We got to see him in a new fight, fighting for something he cares about, and not just to measure up. Agreed. He's now got an emotional connection, not just to his family, but to Kaba as well. Uh, number 17 showed up, but I think we got slightly more feels from Vegeta. Not take away from 17, though. Good choices. Yeah, I mean, uh, other than Goku and Jiren, who I'm not going to count, because we're talking about just overall performance here, not just being the last two or the last three or whatever. Like, Frieza was also good, too. He's still in this thing. Um, that being said, I I'm going to just count 17 and Vegeta because I feel they were the most useful. That's what I think. I think Gohan and Piccolo were kind of screwed by the writers, in my opinion. Uh, I think Roshi did some good stuff, really good stuff. In fact, Roshi saved Vegeta once. You know, there's other characters, too. Um, there are, uh, you know, th those two specifically. Ten Shin Han did a couple of minor things here and there, but overall, 17 and Vegeta, I think, were the two top guys. Michael Erdnan says, Vegeta, because he actually strategized on maximizing eliminations and minimizing power consumption. That is very, very good point. He definitely did not just jump into blue anytime like he wanted to. You know, Goku was fighting probably tougher opponents, you know, at some point in this thing. Vegeta definitely was more of a strategist here. Uh, Devi Prasad Naidu, Vegeta, he changed a lot. Um, DeAndre McDowell says 17 fought hard, was very strategic, and held out to the very end. Uh, Ronald Lee says 17. A lot of 17 picks here. Uh, Dastarius Percopile says 17 without a doubt, without his sacrifice, nothing after that would have happened as it has. He gave more than anyone else and deserves the respect. Well, I've had people throw this monkey wrench into that one. I've seen them comment that if 17 had just let Jiren kill him, Jiren would have been disqualified for, for for killing somebody. So in some ways, that may have not been the smartest decision. But who knows? I mean, it's difficult to say. Maybe Jiren would have held back at the very, very, very end. Shane Gilroy, a man who has been on many, many streams and very generous. I always appreciate his input. He writes, Android 17 literally gives his all, including his life. The only death other than universe erases. That's correct. Uh, you're right. He gave his life. It wasn't like Zeno just deleted him. He voluntarily did it. Without his sacrifice to save, shield the others, this tournament would have ended episodes ago. Well, a couple. Um, Colin Gingerlord. <laughs> These fake last names are funny, bro. There's no way that's your real last name. Easily 17. No one expected much of 17, but he ended up being one of the last and also one of the most useful members of Team 7. Agreed. Uh, Joseph McClinton IV talks about how he literally died for the squad, and he did. He did. Um, and then Gustavo Garcia says something similar. 17, he eliminated a decent amount of people, and he's the reason Goku has a fighting chance. I'm really surprised that, that it is tipping more towards the 17 um, spectrum, right? I would say, and I'm not counting all these votes right now. I'm just doing this little video. I'm not counting the votes. But I would say that actually 17 is winning by like maybe, you know, 65%, 70%. Which is surprising because that Vegeta did a lot, but I think sometimes we forget how impressive he was in the first half of this tournament, dude. Very impressive. You know, Walt Lavoie talks about how he came in very clutch. A um, couple of Vegeta ones here. Frank Castle, Vegeta because Vegeta. It doesn't work that way, bro. You gotta give me a good reason. <laughs> All right, you freaking fanboys. I'm just kidding. Zulio Balashi. Uh, honestly, 17 did very well, but the Prince got rid of a Hakaishin, plus a lot of eliminations. Yeah, I mean, people forget how impressive he was against Topo. No, Hope Super ends in a cliffhanger, so we know it, it will come back. That's not happening, brother. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I've already explained why it's not happening. If it does, I'll be surprised. How about that? And I will say you were right, that you were a great prognosticator, but it's not happening. Yamil Rodriguez Torres, 17, he provided them with necessary rest and even sacrificed himself so Jeets and Goku could take down Jiren. Without them, both would have been eliminated. Um, 
Angelos Cristo says that 17 showed the greatest character development of the lot during the tournament arc. Um, maybe. See, you could also make the argument for Vegeta. You know, because in fact, right here, Devi says that um, Vegeta came a long way with his change of attitude. So, I mean, you could make an argument for both of them, really. Uh, but Vegeta actually showed that he cared about Kaba. So, I mean, there is development there, too. But I see where you're coming from. The only reason why 17 people would say that he didn't get that much development is because we didn't see him for so long that maybe he got that, he got that he those emotions off screen. Whereas with Vegeta, we've seen him, like, develop in front of our very eyes in the Boo saga and things like that. So, Jesus Velarde, Android 17, because in the fights he was involved in, had more of a strategic approach uh, to defeat or get the upper hand instead of depending on brute strength. Um, you're right. I mean, that is true. Vegeta was also very strategic, though, like we talked about earlier, because he conserved his energy and used and was very, you know, he put himself out there, you know. I'm not saying 17 didn't either. But, you know, that's why I made this, to have a discussion about it. You know, because it's, uh, and I'm going to probably put a poll in the upper right hand corner if I remember, because I don't know when this video is going up. Um, so I, if I forget, my bad, but I'll probably put the poll up in the upper right hand corner and I will kind of let you guys vote on who you think is the MVP of this thing. And please let me know why you think that. Like, And don't vote like, oh, I'm a Vegeta fan, I'm a 17 fan. Look at this objectively. Like, who do you really think deserves the MVP award? You know what I mean? Uh, who did the most useful things you know, overall? Vincenzo Carlesimo says that Android 17, but Dragon Ball Super has improved Vegeta as well. This is weird because it says here, and I don't really understand Facebook's algorithm. It says just now, but then down here it says 14 minutes. So why are they putting older comments lower? Like, I have no control over this. I have no idea. Um, this guy, Piss Krillin, again, it was down to 17 in Vegeta. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, th that's, you know, there's probably going to be a ton more comments uh, being left here, but and I'll be sure to read them. But uh, the video, leave your comments down below. Who do you think was the real MVP of the Tournament of Power, Vegeta or 17? And again, we're not counting Goku Jiren, just out of those two guys. And I'm not saying you don't have the right to pick somebody else. I mean, from Universe 7, I feel... Those are the two tippy top guys. If you disagree, that's okay. But out of those two, who do you think has the higher edge here? 17 or Vegeta? And uh, that's it. So hope you all have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. And remember to vote and leave a comment about what you think down below. I look forward to reading all that. And I'll see you all soon. Remember to take care of yourself and each other. Oh, and uh, Facebook.com slash Geekdom101. Check me out.